Hello students. See in last video we learned differentiation or derivative of inverse trigonometry function using substitution method. Now concept completely changes here. Here we are going to learn derivatives of implicit function. Yeah, maybe this term is new for you. See whatever we did up to now in derivatives, may come, uh, including first few see, all are explicit functions. Maybe you remember. Uh, including first piece I am telling, second piece topic where you have differentiated this type of function y is equal to f of x. Here you can see x is in one side, y is in another side. That means x and y are separated. This type of functions are called explicit functions where variables are separated completely. There is no mix up of variables. Okay, Such functions are called explicit function we did up to now only the derivatives of explicit function from first piece derivatives remember that now you can see some problems all okay in board already in these problems x and y are not separated see take the first example 2x plus 3y is equal to sin x see x is there in left hand side y is also there in left hand side it may be possible to separate but still given problem in the given problem x and y are not separated if the function of this kind y is equal to f of x comma y such functions are called implicit function in implicit function x and y are not separated so when variables are not separated such functions are called implicit function definition is not required but better to know exactly what you mean by implicit and explicit explicit means x and y are separated implicit means variables are not separated just remember like that okay so here no other theoretic definitions for the implicit function directly i'm going to take the okay derivatives of such implicit function i'll take this one very simple all the problems are very simple so listen carefully i'll show you how to answer this first question remaining question you can definitely try yourself okay huh. Yeah, term wise differences that you know. What is the derivative of 2x? Okay, in first question, no, I'll write okay step by step. No, no need to write like this in next one. First, find out the derivative of each term separately. Okay, huh. what is the derivative of 2x? 2, that you know. Derivative of 3 by 3 will come out. What is remaining? dy by dx. Is it possible to write derivative of y with respect to x? No, you just keep as it is because y is unknown. Huh, you know derivative of sin x. What is derivative of sin x? Cos x. So derivative is over. But what is asked? Find dy by dx. So you have to rearrange to write what is dy by dx. Okay. So therefore this implies you can write 3 times dy by dx is equal to cos x. Take 2 to this side. So it becomes minus 2. Right? Huh. We want only dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to cos x minus 2 divided by 3. So what is asked? Find dy by dx. We got it. That's it. This is an implicit function derivative or derivative of implicit function. So normal differentiation only, but whenever you are differentiating the term which contain y, be careful. Okay? Huh. Next question. Almost same you can okay observe. Only difference is this x. In that question, why? So listen. Now I'm going. I'm not going to write all this. This is not required. What is the derivative of 2x? Yeah, 2. What is the derivative of 3y? 3 into dy by dx. Now tell me what is the derivative of sine y with respect to x, not with respect to y. With respect to y, you are going to we are going to differentiate sine y with respect to x, not with respect to y. So it is sin y differentiation okay into differentiation of y okay you should be careful here it's not just cos y so it is 2 plus 3 into huh, this will come as it is dy by dx what is the differentiation of sin y cos y into you are going to differentiate y it is dy by dx huh, here you may get the question why it should be done like that so I'll show you don't worry See, suppose you are differentiating sin x. What you will write? You will just directly write cos x. But one more step is there, okay? That is nothing but differentiation of x with respect to x. Why we are not writing dx by dx? Because it cancel and it is equal to only cos x. Since this is not, it is actually present but not visible. Because it is 1. So we are not writing this, okay? But here dy by dx does not cancel, so it will come. Understood what I'm telling? So for each and every function, okay, you are going to differentiate like this. But whenever you are differentiating function with a variable x with respect to same variable, then this is not visible. 
it is present actually but not visible because it is equal to 1 so it won't come but here it will come ha huh. now what is the next step collecting dy by dx term to, together so 3 bring this sign minus cos y into dy by dx so if you bring this here this take this 2 into right hand side so it become minus 2 so therefore what is dy by dx dy by dx is equal to minus 2 by 3 minus cos y i hope you understood yeah only maybe difficult part here is this differentiation okay be careful whenever you are differentiating a function with a variable y with respect to x take care of this particular step otherwise this differentiation is definitely not new for you the new part is i hope you can see with the arrow mark i represented okay this is a new part for you i hope you understood now you just try before i write the solution in a board remember that I'll, if you want i'll pause okay don't worry but you have to try once okay okay third question okay i'll not write solution directly okay you try once i'll give you a minute hmm. what is the question ax square plus by square equal to cos y okay i hope you started yes what is the first step yeah right what is that first step a into dx by dx which is equal to 1 not visible plus maybe you wrote already second term differentiation here b is constant what is the differentiation of y square see you recall this what is the differentiation of x square 2x yeah the next one is not visible because dx by dx which is equal to 1 so if you replace now x square by y or x by y then what you will get differentiation of y square is same procedure dy by uh, 2y into dy by dx in the previous one in x square it is not visible so no need to write here it is visible it does not cancel so 2y into dy by dx i hope you understood huh. equal to yes maybe you wrote third answer also third term differentiation also what is third term cos y what is differentiation of cos x minus sin x instead of x what we have y and you are differentiating with respect to x so what you should write dy by dx i hope you understood if you want i'll again show you how why dy by dx is coming cos x what is differentiation of cos x minus sin x into dx by dx since it get cancelled it's not visible so replace x by y see it will remain it does not cancel so that you should write dy by dx understood ha, differentiation is done now rearrangement tell me how to rearrange bring this whole term into left hand side take a to right hand side so it is 2by when this term comes to left hand side become plus sin y into it is a coefficient of dy by dx equal to a is going to right hand side so it become minus a understood Ha. therefore what is dy by dx dy by dx is minus a by 2by plus sin y this will be the final answer you can observe here in explicit function differentiation the final answer is with the one variable maybe only in terms of x or maybe only in terms of y but in implicit function differentiation final answer may contain the both variable here only one variable but okay you may get both variable or x and y here see y only y but not x so sometimes the next problem definitely next problem you'll get both variable okay if the answer is only in terms of x you can decide that you differentiated explicit function if it is in terms of y or maybe both x and y then it is a answer of derivative of implicit function please remember that okay so these are the very simple very simple basic problems now you'll get little challenging problems okay i'm moving to the fourth question observe carefully x into y plus y square equal to tan x plus y okay huh. now tell me how to differentiate this x into y see here x is not constant y is also not constant so if it is not constant then what it is called they are called variable how many variables are there two variable how you will differentiate two variable function which role Re recall yeah exactly what is that product rule because when when whenever you are differentiating product of two function means whenever you are differentiating the two term which both contain variable you are going to use this use this rule what is that rule u into differentiation of v 
plus v into differentiation of u. So you are going to use this formula to begin this derivative. Tell me now how to start. This is u, okay, this is v, right? Start. u into, that is x into differentiation of y with respect to x plus, it's not over, don't differentiate this. I just wrote the first term. The second term we have to write. So what is v here? v is y. So what we should write? Differentiation of x with respect to x. So differentiation of the first term is over. Remember that. Differentiation of only the first term is over. Remember, now this plus will come as it is because I'm going to differentiate second term. And now I'm going to differentiate y square that you know already to y into dy by dx. Right? Then differentiation of tan x that you know secant square x plus differentiation of y. What is the differentiation of y? dy by dx. So differentiation is over. Now remaining task is to rearrange this whole expression. Here you know this cancel. So no need to write. It's not visible. So x into dy by dx. Collect all the dy by dx term together. One term is there in right hand side. Bring that into left hand side like this. Keep the non-coefficients of dy by dx in the right hand side. Here, okay, nothing in left hand side does not contain any, okay, non-coefficient of dy by dx. Only one term in the right hand side, which is second square x. So, this is nothing but x plus 2y minus 1 into dy by dx is equal to second square x. So, therefore, what is the final answer? dy by dx is equal to second square x divided by x plus 2y minus 1. This will be the final answer. I hope you understood. Here be careful in the first term difference. Remaining terms are simple that you can definitely manage. So x into y is a product of two terms. So you should use product rule. Okay. I hope you understood. I am moving to the next question. It is similar to this. Some product rule is required. Okay. Observe carefully. Or you can try. Definitely you can try. Okay, before I write the solution in the board, no need to wait for me. Huh. I hope you started. It's very good. Tell me what is the derivative of x squared. Good. 2x. Plus, you already saw this okay, derivative. So, definitely you can write the derivative of next term easily. x into dy by dx plus y into differentiation of x is equal to 1. So, just similar to the previous question. Remember that. Plus, this is a differentiation of this. This is a differentiation of this. Now you have to differentiate y square. What is that? 2y into dy by dx is equal to. Huh. Tell me what is the derivative of 100? What is the answer? It is a constant. So what is the answer? Huh. Don't write 100 again. It is 0. Remember that. Yeah. So derivative work is done. Now collecting the dy by dx term together. x plus 2y. Okay, from these two terms, take dy by dx outside, you will get like this. Take the remaining all the term into right hand side. What are the remaining terms? Minus 2x minus y. That I can write like this. Got it? Very good. So therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus 2x plus y divided by x plus 2y. So this is it. See, I'm, I'm telling something here in the third question that uh, implicit function contain both variable that you can see in the last two questions. See, 2x plus y, x plus y. Both variables are present in the final answer. So remember, in dy by dx, if the both variable present, 100% you differentiated an implicit function. If it is one variable only in terms of x, then that differentiation of explicit function. I hope you understood. Uh, two more problems are there that I'll continue. Okay, I hope you understood. Okay, very good.